Hello everybody and welcome to the start of a brand new series. KSP pointlessly overcomplicated. Why is that you ask? Well, you know, I love Kerbal Space Program. It's to me it's one of my favorite games of all time. And I've played it through almost completely. In fact, the only thing I've not done so far is send a ship out to Eve and bring it back and I'm working on that at the moment. And I've really wanted to do a series on this, but I felt that you know, the standard career path had been done by everyone so many times, it just wasn't worth doing again. So I sat down, looked at the uh, the mod list, I put together a set of mods which I thought might make for interesting uh, viewing. And to add to those, I'm going to be creating a few other bits and pieces, making some new items, and I'm probably going to have to write myself a new plugin for this as well, just to get a couple of the bits and pieces I want done, done. So, what have I done? I've got the, the, the stock mods, I've got Better Than Starting Manned, which is an interesting little mod. It rejigs the tech tree and it nerfs a lot of items, to be totally honest with you. The, uh, the reaction wheels, for example, are not nearly as strong as they are in the main game, which makes um, them less useful, especially with Tiny Craft and um, it doesn't give you a, a manned craft at the start of the game. It gives you um, all the uh, uh, the probe cores and you've got to take it from there. So uh, on top of that what I decided was it would be good to um, actually add an element of control. So I dug out the remote tech um, mod as well and I had to do a lot of rewriting of that one because the remote tech mod assumes that the tech tree is going to be the default way and so I would be in a situation where starting off I'd have had probe calls that I couldn't use because there was no radio connection to uh, mission control in order to control them and I didn't have any capsules because I hadn't invented them yet so played around with that and I've added a few other little bits and pieces to it um, the first one you'll likely to see is deadly reentry, which basically makes things blow up if you're not very, very careful and putting them back into uh, atmosphere. So, okay, um, let's have a quick look at the uh, the science tree and see where I start off. And this, I have start off with four items: an antenna, a probe core, a solid rocket booster, and a thermometer. And from that, I've got to make a bit of science to get to the next level. So let's see what I've got. The Reflectron DP-10, the antenna. When moving this antenna to a test site, engineers always forgot to turn it on. Frustrated with having to walk back and forth, they had this antenna active by default. So this is a, a the, the starting antenna. It's a tiny little one. It's got a 500 kilometer range, which in space is hardly anything. Uh, but it has a nice advantage of this. Well, this one is always turned on, and believe me, that <laughs> that's going to stop me from from aborting a lot of missions just having one of these on there. So um, on to the next one, which is the Stay Putnik Mark One from Probo Dobo Dine Incorporated. Oh, what a name! This is the the first probe core we're going to get. The Stay Putnik offers the ultimate solution in crew safety: a lightweight sphere equipped with the remote receivers, and in crew safety. This is unmanned. Oh, never mind. A lightweight sphere equipped with remote receivers and tiny gyros for orientation. It carries no crew at all. That's probably why the crew is safe. Thus keeping them perfectly safe from all harm. This device does require electricity to operate, however, and will cease to function should the power run out. The built-in battery should keep it going for about 10 minutes. And the R10 solid fuel booster. The thing what gets us off the ground. When consi while considered by some to be little more than a trash bin full of boom, the RT-10 is used in many space programs whenever the need to save cash is greater than the need to keep astronauts alive. Used with caution though, once lit, solid fuel motors cannot be put out until the fuel runs out. And the Too Hot Thermometer from Probo Dobo Dine Incorporated, and I'm not going to get bored with saying that anyone soon. This thermometer is definitely not a store-bought model, with some wires stuck to it. Warranty void if an engineer admits it's actually a store-bought model with some wires stuck to it. <laughs> okay, right. So that's what I've got to uh, to work with now. This is interesting, to be honest with you, because there's no no way to steer this. This is going to go up. The fuel's going to run out, 
and it's going to come back down again. So what I've got to do is do a lot of science between the going up and the coming back down. Let's go to the VAB and see what we can do. Well, we have a few bits and pieces to play with. The thing that worries me most, I must admit, is there's no way to control this missile. It's precisely that. It'll go up, it'll come down. Um, to do this, we're going to have to be very careful with symmetry. And the first thing I want to try is just how important symmetry is to our basic rocket. So we'll start off, we'll have just the basic bits and pieces, and we shall put on one aerial. Okay, then the aerial weighs very very little so it's going to be interesting to see just how much having the weight on one side only is going to affect that so let's take that to the launch site okay here we go then here's our little rocket here's our weight on one side let's launch it and see what happens well okay it's instantly started to tip over so even the slightest little bit of weight is going to uh, cause us problems. Okay, so now we know that. Um, back to the space center. Okay, so let's balance these out then. So we'll have one on either side for them. There we go. And we'll have a bit of science. We'll have one of those on either side as well. So we have balance across two axes there so okay let's get this one launched there we go and up so now we're in space let's log the temperature okay, so we shall transmit that data that's 2.8 science done okay and let's go up to about 5000 to see if we can get anything more I don't think we will but it's always worth a try 5,000 has passed, log temperature, nothing, okay. So there we go, 10,000, we've just run out of um, thrust there, log temperature, nothing. So, okay, so we've got 2.8. To go any further, we are going to have to uh, build something a little bit more powerful, which I think we can do. Okay, 18, 19... 20,000. Do we have anything at 20,000? We have something at 20,000. Okay, let's transmit that as well. There we go. That's another 2.8 science added. So 20,000. And I think that is about as far as we're going to go. Yes, we are definitely slowing down. And what goes up? Must come down. That's a shame. We almost made 25,000 meters there. 25 kilometers up. So, here we go. Let's record this going down. And I'll see you at the bottom. and bigger boom right okay now we've got enough to get another level of science but I am tempted to see just how much we can squeeze out of this level so let's go back to the vehicle assembly and give it more power because that's what it's all about more power okay so Come on you, that's it, let's get that lined up because that's bothering me because I'm rather anal. And get that out of the way. And let's chuck on a bit more propulsion, so. There we go, one either side. Three times the power, let's see what happens with that one. Let's take that one out to the launch pad and send it upwards. Righty ho, five, four, three, Two, one, launch! And that 
that's going up quite a lot. Let's see how far we get on that one. And that is overheating rather fast. There we go. I don't think we're going to last much. Boom. Okay. I don't think that quite worked. Back to the drawing board. Right, now that was interesting. Now, quite frankly, that was going to explode. Those engines were overheating. But the interesting thing here is deadly re-entry caught that first. So we were clearly going too fast. So what I think what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to give it a quick experiment. I'm going to split those two outer engines out first. So we will fire those two outer ones. Once they've burned out, we'll hit space and we'll burn the middle one. So that will launch slower, but it should go a bit further. Let's see what happens. Here we go. Three, two, one, boom. So that's experimenting. Uh, experimenting? That's experimenting. That's accelerating quite quickly, but it's not as vicious as it was beforehand. So here we go. Those two outer engines are starting to overheat, but the inner one isn't. And we're getting close to uh, the end now, so just as soon as the engine the engines run out of fuel there we will launch the next stage there we go there's the next one we're still accelerating we're still accelerating quite a lot that looks like it's a, a that looks like it's going to work I'm quite surprised to be totally honest with you so let's see how far up we get with that and it's a real shame that I forgot to put a thermometer on that because we might have got a little bit more science but still we can try it again so here we go Wow, that's over a, going over a kilometre a second now. We've gone well past twenty-five thousand kilom uh, twenty-five kilometres. So let's see how far up we did go. Hundred and thirty-five kilometres. There we go. So right, let's try that again. But this time, let's put a thermometer on it and see what extra science we can get. Here we go. This hopefully will be our first object to uh, leave the atmosphere. Here we go. Three, two, one, go! And what we'll do is we shall try the temperature at various stages up and out the atmosphere and see what we get with it. Okay. Accelerating nicely here. We're well past 200 meters a second. Over to three. Nearly run out of fuel on this stage. And there we go. There's the next stage. And up we go. So, this is going well. Just past 10 kilometers and still accelerating. This has worked quite well, to be honest with you. I'm quite surprised. surprised. Right, now, we've done, ex um, okay, we've done experiments at this point, so we'll try again at 30,000. There we go, that's the fuel run out, but we're still going up. 30,000. There we go, another 2.8 science, so let's transmit that. Okay, and 40,000 has passed. Have we got anything there? Nothing new there. 50,000. Nothing new there. 60,000 and still going up. I don't think we're going to have anything here, but we'll try. No. 67,000. 70,000. There we go. We are in space. Look, temperature. Full science. Let's transmit that. Temperature seems to be fluctuating based on orientation. Okay, so we have transmitted out of the atmosphere. How far up are we going to go? We are going to go up to 134 still, so let's try again. Well, at 100,000 and 130,000 just before we start coming back. There's a hundred thousand log temperature. Nothing there. 
and we'll try again at 130,000 we'll just run up there and I'll see you there Here we are, we finally made it up to 130,000, so before we start coming back down, let's give it one more try to log the temperature. Nothing there. Okay, so let's leave this guy to his fate, go back to the space center, and spend all that lovely science. Spent the five science and got three new items. The first one of which is the POT1 battery from Zeltonic Electronics. The POT1 battery represents our first attempts at storing and transporting electrical charge in our rockets. Warning, despite vicious rumours to the contrary, the POT1 does not contain a potato, and disassembling it to try and find one will result in a call from our lawyers. 50 charge, mass 0.05. So that's actually quite heavy considering what it is. Second item, the Rockomax BACC Solid Fuel Booster from Rockomax Conglomerate. Filled with a new, even more volatile fuel, the BACC offers semi-reliable performance at a good price. So this one's got more thrust, more fuel, and hopefully will get us even further. And finally, the Presmat Barometer from Probo Dobo Dine Incorporated. A device for measuring the local atmospheric pressure, warranty void if exposed to air. Right, we got that lot, let's go and make something that will hopefully fly out of it. Well, it was pretty obvious what the next one was going to be. It's going to be like the first missile, but larger. We have the larger solid rocket booster here, the same probe at core, uh, a couple of antenna for balance, and instead of the thermometer, we have the barometer, because we got some uh, experiments we can do with that one in the atmosphere. And in order to allow us to uh, to broadcast, we have the batteries, which, as you can see, are already draining. So let's not mess around, and let's get this in the air. So, first experiment, log pressure data. The atmospheric pressure seems to be dropping as you gain altitude. 5.6 science. We will have a bit of that. Thank you very much. There we go. Let's have a quick look. Um, we're down to 234 electric. So we think we've got good enough for another two or three uh, broadcasts there, all right. And we'll try that again at 10,000 meters. I shall see you there. Just past 10,000 meters, we're almost out of fuel. As you can see, we are now traveling so fast, we're getting Mac effects. Let's hope it doesn't blow this craft up. No, it's all right, we've just run out of fuel. Next uh, experiment, log pressure data. The atmosphere has become incredibly thin. 5.6 science, we'll have a bit of that. Okay, um, that's 10,000 meters. I believe we're going to get out into space with this one. Let's have a quick look. We are just, no we're not, 49,000 meters. Okay, let's try that at 49,000, oh, 48,000. Let's try it at its peak. I don't think there's any extra science there, but we may as well look. Just coming up to 49,000 meters. Let's um, give it one last look here. Log pressure data. No, we've done that one already. Okay, all right. Well, this was been a bit of a disappointment. We've got two bits of science out of it. I'm gonna head back to the drawing board and see if we can get something that will go up a bit further. I shall see you in a minute. And here we have our next little friend. We have three stages of it. We're starting off with the small rocket boosters. Then we're going to go to a pair of the large ones and finally this center one. Experiment wise, I've put both experiments on it. We've got the barometer here and the uh, the thermometer. The reason for that being is I'm kind of hoping this will get us up into deep space where we haven't done a thermometer experiment yet, but we've still got the barometer experiment to do if we get out of the atmosphere and hopefully a second one in deep space. So let's get in the air. <laughs> Here we are, out in space. We've just run out of fuel, so there's a good chance of us getting out into uh, deep space there. Let's do this first experiment, mind, before we have a look. Log pressure data. 
<laughs> you have proven the wild theories to be true. Space is a vacuum. Eight science. We'll have a bit of that. Thank you very much. There we go. And let's have a quick look at the map. Let's see how far we're getting. 268. Yes, we're going over 250,000 meter, uh, meters, which I believe is the boundary to deep space. I'll see you up there. Here we go. Past all that boring uh, travel into deep space. Let's have a let's do some experiments and then we'll leave this thing to its fate. Log pressure data. Collected and recorded the atmosp atmospheric pressure data from the surroundings. I think they ran out of ideas at this point, so we'll transmit that. Okay. Eight data there. And let's log the temperature. After careful analysis, we have determined the space isn't very nice. Oh very true. Right, we'll transmit that as well. There we go, four science there. I think that's all we're going to get out of this. So, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to head back to the uh, the space center. There we go. And I think I'm going to leave it there, folks. Uh, we've done a fair amount of science, considering we started off with just spare parts. And the next round of science gathering is going to give us even more options and more things to do. And hopefully, even get a Kerbal into the air but that will all be in the next episode i hope you enjoyed this if you did please give me a like if you want to see some more give me a subscribe and i will see you all hopefully the next time goodbye